Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashpika. Welcome to the craft channel where each and every week we make amazing craft DIY tutorials, all eco friendly and all those things. In previous week, we have uploaded a video on how to make a small plushie using the elastic. I'm gonna leave that video in the card section below. Make sure to check it out. But in this video, I'm gonna be using this elastic which I got it and which I extracted from the process that I mentioned in my previous video. Make sure you check it out how I get this kind of stuff. And now we were going to use this particular elastic and we were going to create earrings and a handband or maybe a wristband or something like that. We were going to create beautiful stuff using this particular elastic. So let's dive in. Before going park, consider clicking the like button, guys. I do really appreciate that. If you want more such video in the up to upcoming future weeks, then consider subscribing because we upload each and every week about amazing eco-friendly DIYs, earrings, air dry clay, elastics, and all those things. Consider subscribing. So let's dive in with today's. First of all, what are the materials required? The first and foremost thing you're gonna need an elastic. This one is the elastic which I have already mentioned in my previous video. How to make one? Make sure you check out that video. Another thing you would be needing is the wire because we would be making earrings. So I'm using this particular wire. You can get the wire from the stationery or from hardware store, wherever, which can you can use for making the earrings. Then we also going to need the pliers for wire bending and all this kind of stuff. Then you're going to need a needle and a thread because we will be using that as well. And another thing and last thing you'd be needing is a scissor. You can call it in that way. So let's get straight with today's tutorial. This particular tutorial is divided into basically three parts. I'm going to show you through three different things using this particular elastic. Two are the earrings and one is the wristband that can also be used as a hairband. So the first of all, I'm going to show you one of the earrings. Now this one are the loop earrings that I made in one of my tutorial. I'm going to leave that in the car section above how to make a wire loop earrings. I've shown you exactly how to do that. So make sure to check it out that video if you want to make these beautiful uh, wire loop earrings and I'm going to be using these earrings for the first part of this tutorial. So if you don't know how to make one, make sure to check it out our video. The link is in the description box below on how to make this loop earring. So I have made that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this particular elastic. You could see this is the elastic. So I'm going to be actually cutting down this elastic. So first of all, I'm going to see which part of the elastic I would be needing it because it has a lot of the threads. So I'm going to just remove it one by one and would see a part of the stuff that I would be needing for this particular tutorial. So it's over here and we're going to cut my elastic and now I need to take that part of the elastic which is more convenient for my earring. So I'm going to take this loop over here and I'm going to open this particular stuff over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this elastic and I'm going to engage this particular stuff into over here like this. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to just engage this one over here like this. So you have to also engage it like this over here. Here we go. Then you can clearly see I have engaged this particular elastic in out of one that. And then I'm going to keep it like this. And I'm going to bring it over here like this. Okay. And then I'm going to just pull it out from over here. So I'm just going to take this particular stuff over here. And we're going to take it engage out of this particular loop. So I'm just going to do that. Wait a minute. I'm going to do that. Here we are. And now you just need to... We have rotated the rings with this particular elastic. The one part is complete. So I'm just going to close this loop and you could see a beautiful earrings. Cool. It's entirely made from the elastic. So I'm just going to cut over here. I'm going to cut this end over here and we're going to engage similarly in the next pair as well. So I'm just going to cut it over here. And here we are. So we have made the one pair of the earrings from this particular elastic. Similarly, I'm going to make this another pair as well. So I'm just going to take it out again from over here like this. And then I'm going to take my elastic. The elastic. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly cut this area as well like the first one we did. The earrings. So you could see clearly. We have made the two pair of the earrings with this particular elastic. It's so beautiful, so pretty. Let's move on to the second part of this particular tutorial. Make a wristband. So wristband is quite simple. It's not that tricky. It's simple. So I'm going to take this area. I think this area is more convenient for me. So I'm going to take this area and see if there is an extra thread which you can remove. You can do it and take the size of your wristband or of your wrist and uh, like my size of the wrist is approximately somewhat like this okay it can be 
a wristband it can be a hairband as well so i'm just going to take this particular size of course it's an elastic so if you're taking a little bit lesser size that's also okay i mean you don't have to be like i have to take an exact size no because it's elastic so you can take it like that this is my size of the wristband so i'm just gonna take this one over here and i'm gonna quickly cut it out that's my size so this is the size since it's the elastic so that's why i'm taking a little smaller you have to measure your wrist okay and then do it according to it just take the extra threads out from your elastic and now what we need to do we need to seal both the ends so how we will gonna do we will gonna use the thread with this that's why i talk about the thread a thread i'm using a white one because it's white with the note at the end so i'm gonna clearly secure it at the note take this needle and i'm gonna secure both these ends together so that we can create a band so you have to just sew it together both these ends together equally well one above the other like this is the first part and this is the fun i'm keeping it like this okay i'm keeping it like this and stitch now i'm not a pro at stitch so i'm not gonna go detail about stitching over here because i'm not really a pro so i'm just gonna do a basic stitching and going to secure both these ends together so can i can create a one from that so that's what i'm gonna do over here this is the thing you can see clearly we have kind of like connected both these ends together now you could add a lot of the stitching stuff over here i'm just gonna quickly stitch it properly so that both them are joined properly or hairband you could use it as a hairband as well like this or wristband you can even color it in together with this particular stitching i'm just gonna tie a no you can see and we have made the band now you can color it if you want to you can depend on the color solution and pull quite easy band and you can use it as a hairband as well like tie like this and use it as a hairband so it's quite simple now the next we have to move on to the third part of this tutorial which is making another earrings from this rest part of the elastic just taking the size of this one like I mean this is just the optional part I mean you can take the size of a scale maybe a one inch i guess one inch or one and a half inch you can take it the length of the earrings depending on whatever the length of the earrings you want maybe one inch maybe one and a half inch or maybe two inch depending on that so i'm going to be taking the roughly the size of this one this is just the optional it depends on you so you could see i'm gonna take the size of my earring this much okay you can increase the size if you want to and i'm gonna just cut it down so i'm gonna take it the size of here this one like this and I'm gonna be cutting it down so let me just cut it out so this is the one piece I have cut so I'm gonna cut three more pieces like that we need the four pieces so one we already have so I'm gonna make uh, three more pieces like this size okay so this is the approximately size I'm taking so I'm gonna cut different pieces which we are going to use in our earrings now rest this part is empty like you could make something else out of it if you want to but we will be needing only this one for the rest part of the tutorial so take these two like this okay this one is this this one is this and i'm gonna join both of them now here this stitching technique comes into play i'm gonna stitch them together you can even add the glue to actually uh, meet them together it depends on you but i'm gonna be using the stitching so i'm gonna pull it out my needle and the thread over here once again for this particular tutorial i'm gonna just join them together so you could see these two are separate so let me just use my needle and thread if you could see kind of like connected with each other with this particular thread uh, I'm just gonna do it one or two times more so that they are connected together equally well because this is both this together we have sewed them together just remove the extra thread if you're seeing that's coming in between like this now you could either join all the ends together if you want to but I'm not gonna join the complete end like you can join end to end and make this kind of earrings but I think I'm gonna be doing that so I'm gonna show one quickly first pair now this one is the first pair that I'm assembling over here now what i'm gonna do next are with the one piece of the wire you can see i'm gonna take my pliers okay you could bought from the market if you don't want to make it it's all depends on you so but i'm gonna make it because i know i can bend it, the wires and i can make it so i'm gonna take it in my hand and i'm gonna create a loop over here like this let me show you how to create a loop so i'm just gonna bend like this so this one is a loop i have created now i'm just gonna take another band like this I'm gonna take another band like this so you could see I have taken the another band like this fine and now I'm just gonna band it out again 
kind of like you could see the earrings are banded like you could purchase a one if you want to from the market if you don't put it together we have done it was like this so i have taken like this okay a loop with the thread itself now it's a it may be a little bit complicated for some of people but yeah that's what i'm gonna do over here so i'm gonna just create a loop so let me just create a loop so you could see like this and i'm gonna take my needle like this and instead of taking it completely what you can see so this is the small loop you could see let me just close it even more make it a smaller one so this is the loop and again i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna smaller loops is there which will going to help us engage our earrings uh, wire clearly this is the loop that i have created with a thread this is a small loop that i've created where i can engage my wire step that i'm gonna do i'm gonna just take my earrings you can get it from the market and you're gonna see an open loop over here or either open it with the plier so i'm just gonna pull it out like this so you can see i have pulled it like this and now i'm gonna secure close this loop so that the thread won't come out of it so i'm just gonna take my plier over here and we'll just going to just close this loop that's all you have to do here and we have made the one first from the pair of the earrings the similarly i'm gonna make the rest second part as well so i'm gonna it's already been created this is a small loop where we will going to engage our wire of the earrings so let me just uh, tie a note and finish up with this you could see i have engaged it now let me just close this loop so that we're left with the rest part of the elastic and i'm gonna make another band because you could see the blue color thread is there with this particular elastic so i'm gonna make another band from this and at this time i'm taking a blue thread because i have seen a blue blue kind of like thread is there with this particular rest part of the elastic so i'm just gonna quickly cut it out together so we are getting with a nether band or hair band or wristband but this one could be a hair band and this one could be a wristband so let me quickly show you what we have done it today the first pair of the earrings that we made from the elastic now you could see we have made the round loop from this particular wire and i've already shown you how to make a loop wire in one of my video i'm gonna leave that in the card section above so you could see we have made the wire loop and then we have taken the elastic and just wrote it in the circle way like this you could see clearly it's kind of like a circular covering all the path and this is the back end of the earrings like this is the back side of the earrings fine and this is the front side of the earrings so it's looking pretty beautiful so first we have made these two pair of the earrings and then we have made the bands this was the band that i have made now you can use that as a wristband use it as a wristband or you could use it as a hairband as well so let me just take it out and this one is the another band that we made another we made the pair of the earrings now this one is the pair of the earrings you could see we have cut the elastics we have taken the four different four pieces of the same size of the elastic and then we then made this particular stuff and then it can be like kind of like an earrings so we have made all these four things in this particular tutorial let me know what you think in the comment section below did you really enjoy this tutorial of making the earrings the, the two earrings and the two bands from the elastic let me know in the comment section below what do you think we have made all these four things in this particular tutorial it's all completely in white this may has the blue thread but rest all is completely in white you could see you could uh, use a different color threads over here in this tutorial let me know what you think in the comment section below hopefully you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up if you do so consider subscribing if you want more such videos in the future thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for signing in see you for the next time take care bye guys